Uh, I want to move to uh, Carlsbad Caverns. Uh, last year, both of the uh, passenger elevators broke down at Carlsbad Caverns National Park and have now been inoperable for a number of months. And this really uh, puts a crimp in visitation to sort of the main attraction there. Uh, it means that visitors have to take a, a fairly substantial hike back out of the caverns on foot. And it limits accessibility in particular for people with physical disabilities, for small children. And uh, needless to say, that is a major um, portion of uh, Eddy County's economy uh, with visitors buying gas, staying at local hotels and motels, uh, oftentimes when they visit both uh, Carlsbad Caverns and White Sands National Monument, which is uh, not far away. With spring break season coming up, I think it's critical that we get these elevators back up and running so that Carlsbad as an area does not lose out on that critical uh, recreational and visitation spending. So can you tell us a little bit about what happened to the elevators, what the Park Service is doing to fix them, and when we might see at least one of them available for uh, visitor use again? Well, in a nutshell, this is a good indication of what we're struggling with with deferred maintenance across the national parks with uh, uh, $12 billion of uh, uh, backlog in both transportation and non-transportation assets. In the case of Carlsbad, which I have been to, uh, those elevators are over 40 years old, and uh, they've been working hard to keep them going, but uh, ultimately they break down. The estimated cost to replace um, the uh, works there is over a half a million dollars. So right now the uh, National Park Service is looking to retrofit the existing freight elevators to make them safe for passengers to use and their goal is to have this workaround in place sometime early to the middle of next month uh, for the reasons you expressed. But it's, it's another indication of the challenges we have when we've got this deferred maintenance. Thank you.